Quick disclaimer, this video is going to be discussing some unconfirmed information that Elon Musk recently shared on Twitter. And we are only discussing this because Elon Musk shared this publicly to his 160 million followers. As of now, there is no official statement confirming the existence or content of this letter. And it's important to evaluate the information presented and avoid jumping to conclusions, especially until a full investigation is completed. But Elon Musk recently tweeted something and he said this letter about OpenAI was just sent to me. These seem like concerns worth investigating. Now, the letter that Elon Musk leaves a link to has a wide list and a huge series of allegations. Now, it's important to state currently that we're going to be discussing the allegations and claims. But remember, the truth hasn't been firmly established. We can't come to any conclusions as of yet because right now there are many theories throwing around and right now we also don't know where this letter originated from. See Elon Musk tweeted this link from gist.github.com and it's apparently a letter from the former employees of OpenAI. Now as of recording this nobody has covered this as of yet but I still think that this is an interesting piece of information because I do believe that this is definitely going to change the scope of things. So the letter reads to the board of directors of OpenAI, we are writing to you today to express our deep concern about the recent events at OpenAI, particularly the allegations of misconduct against Sam Altman. We are former OpenAI employees who left the company during a period of significant turmoil and upheaval. As you have now witnessed what happens when you dare stand up to Sam Altman, perhaps you can understand why so many of us have remained silent for fear of repercussions and we can no longer remain silent. Now, what I find interesting about this was that they said that we are former OpenAI employees who left during a period of significant upheaval and turmoil. The only problem is we don't know who these employees are and when exactly they did leave. It continues to state that we believe that the board of directors has a duty to investigate these allegations thoroughly and take appropriate action. We urge you to expand the scope of Emmett's investigation to include an examination of Sam Altman's actions since August 2018, when OpenAI began transitioning from a non-profit to a for-profit entity. Issue an open call for private statements from former OpenAI employees who resigned, were placed on medical leave, or were terminated during this period. Protect the identities of those who come forward and ensure they are not subjugated to retaliation or other forms of harm. So essentially what they're saying is, if you didn't know, Emmett Shear, the new interim CEO at OpenAI, is going to be the one doing the investigation. That's what he said he's going to do. And the people in this letter want Emmett to essentially expand his investigation to previous actions at 2018. I'm not sure how that's going to work or how they're going to do that. And I'm also not sure how they're going to get private statements from former OpenAI employees if they're even going to want to speak about this. One thing that will be interesting is I do believe that right now, anytime there are certain allegations, we're definitely going to hear less because when you have certain allegations thrown at people, people are often advised by their lawyers to not say anything because anything you can say could be potentially used against you. Even well-meaning statements could inadvertently help build a case against you if there is eventually legal action. So it's always safest legally to remain silent, which is why even if this statement gets even more popular, and I'm no doubt that it's going to be because Elon Musk tweeted it, literally the most followed person on Twitter, Sam Altman and Greg Brockman are definitely going to be remaining silent on this issue. So with this, I just expect that the situation is about to get really quiet from here on out. We believe that a significant number of OpenAI employees were pushed out of the company to facilitate its transition to a for-profit model. This is evidenced by the fact that OpenAI's employee attrition rate between January 2018 and July 2020 was in the order of 50%. And now employee attrition rate refers to the rate at which employees leave a company over a specific period of time. It is typically expressed as a percentage and is calculated by dividing the number of employees who leave the organization during a given period by the average number of employees in that period and multiplying the result by 100. A high attrition rate can indicate various issues within an organization, such as poor employee satisfaction, ineffective management, lack of growth opportunities or inadequate compensation. And that is, of course, something that will need to be fact checked to see if it is actually true. It goes on to state that throughout our time at OpenAI, we witnessed a disturbing pattern of deceit and manipulation by Sam Altman and Greg Brockman, driven by their insatiable pursuit of achieving artificial general intelligence. Their methods, however, have raised serious doubts about their true intentions and the extent to which they genuinely prioritize the benefit of all of humanity. Many of us, initially hopeful about OpenAI's mission, choose to give Sam and Greg the benefit of the doubt. However, as their actions became increasingly concerning, those who dared to voice their concerns 
were silenced or pushed out. This systematic silencing of dissent created an environment of fear and intimidation, effectively stifling any meaningful discussion about the ethical implications of OpenAI's work. Now, here's where they get into concrete examples, and I'm going to say in question marks slash quotation marks, concrete examples of Sam and Greg's dishonesty, because this is just, of course, once again, these are allegations. This isn't facts. And of course, any legal team that is going to be investigating this will have to do their research. And I'm sure that Emmett Shear is likely going to be looking into these allegations as well. That is if he does remain as interim CEO. It says Sam's demand for researchers to delay reporting progress on specific secret research initiatives, which were later dismantled for failing to deliver sufficient results quickly enough. Those who questioned this practice were dismissed as bad culture fits and even terminated, some just before Thanksgiving 2019. Greg's use of discriminatory language against a gender transitioning team member, despite many promises to address this issue. No meaningful action was taken except for Greg simply avoiding all communication with the affected individual, effectively creating a hostile work environment. This team member was eventually terminated for alleged underperformance. Sam directing IT and operations staff to conduct investigations into employees, including Ilya, without the knowledge or consent of management. Sam's discreet yet routine exploitation of OpenAI's non-profit resources to advance his personal goals, particularly motivated by his grudge against Elon following their falling out. The operations team tacit acceptance of the special rules that apply to Greg navigating intricate requirements to avoid being blacklisted. Brad Lightcap's unfulfilled promise to make public the documents detailing OpenAI's capped profit structure and the profit cap for each investor. Sam's incongruent promises to research products for compute quotas causing internal distrust and infighting. And it goes into state here, and this is just, reading this is, is, is particularly interesting because this is the first time I've seen any of this information on the internet at all. And this seriously does put certain things into question with what's going to happen to OpenAI now. And it continues to say, despite the mounting of evidence of Sam and Greg's transgressions, those who remain at OpenAI continue to blindly follow their leadership, even at significant personal cost. This unwavering loyalty stems from a combination of fear, retribution, and the allure of potential financial gains through OpenAI's profit participation units. The governance structure of OpenAI, specifically designed by Sam and Greg, deliberately isolates employees from overseeing the for-profit operations precisely due to their inherent conflicts of interest. This opaque structure enables Sam and Greg to operate with impunity, shielded from accountability. We urge the board of directors of OpenAI to take a firm stand against these unethical practices and launch an independent investigation into Sam and Greg's conduct. We believe that OpenAI's mission is too important to be compromised by the personal agendas of a few individuals. We implore you, the board of directors, to remain steadfast in your commitment to OpenAI's original mission and not to succumb to the pressures of profit-driven interests. The future of artificial intelligence and the well-being of humanity depend on your unwavering commitment to ethical leadership and transparency. Sincerely concerned former OpenAI employees. Now, I think this is quite interesting and I have a few questions for this because, of course, like I stated before, these, of course, are allegations. Nothing is confirmed. This could be a random email just done by any user on the internet, or it could be a combination of a few serious OpenAI employees. Right now, we genuinely have no idea. In the past couple of days, what we've seen happen so far is that, is that a piece of information will come to surface. And then within the next six hours, that piece of information is rendered obsolete by a new piece of information. So it's important to remain objective at this moment in time. Now, what they've done at the end as well is they've linked three things, okay? They've linked three articles, okay? And one of these articles is a link to a former member of OpenAI. Now, what's interesting was that this former member of OpenAI did tweet out something yesterday, okay? And what he tweeted wasn't the best light into OpenAI at all. It wasn't really good. We didn't really cover it, but this is what they did link. And in this Twitter thread, he essentially says that my prior is strongly against Sam Altman after working for him for two years at OpenAI. He was always nice to me. He lied to me on various occasions and he was deceptive, manipulative and worse to others, including my friends. And again, he was only nice to me for certain reasons. In addition, Jeffrey Ivering did also state that he is conflicted because he is the lead of scalable alignment at Google DeepMind, which is of course a competitor to OpenAI. So it's important to stake any statements from either side with a grain of salt, because right now, one thing that we do know is that we don't know exactly what's going on at all. Now, before I get into more of these statements, one thing I do want to state is that it's important to note that some of these statements, of course, are going to be allegations. 
And number two is that some of these statements aren't exactly from people that are fond of Sam Altman or fond of OpenAI. You have to understand that right now we are in a very competitive landscape. Many people have previously stated that whoever controls the AI will control the future of the world. So it's important to remain objective to see if we can truly figure out what has actually gone on. I really have two questions. Did Elon Musk tweet this to, you know, be someone who was objective or to be fair? Or is he still holding a grudge against Sam Altman because those two have been warring over the past couple of days with Sam Altman firing numerous shots at Elon Musk's large language model and Elon Musk firing shots completely at ChatGPT's large language model for quite some time. It's the same reason that Elon Musk created X.AI because he said that ChatGPT was far too biased in its creation. You can see here, it was only like a week ago that Elon Musk called ChatGPT a woke GPT, referring to the fact that anything woke is essentially far too biased in terms of where ChatGPT's political spectrum is. So I do have some more questions. And the second question I have is why wasn't this filed before? Why would they wait until now to when OpenAI is simply crumbling? Is it a thing whereby maybe now they have the confidence to because other people are quote unquote speaking out and there are other allegations? Or is this just someone trying to discredit Sam Altman and OpenAI so that whatever research lab it is, is going to be gaining an advantage because right now if OpenAI does go bust, those customers do have to go somewhere. And there is right now a huge demand for AI and that demand isn't going to go away at all. A third question I do have is why wouldn't they go the legal route into filing a lawsuit? Maybe they don't have enough finances for that, but that is usually what I would expect if there are allegations thrown at someone. Now, as of recording this, the web page is down. I'm not sure exactly why. I don't know if they took it down or what's gone on, but this has definitely thrown a spanner in the works because I don't think anybody expected this at all. In addition, another question that I do have, if the OpenAI workplace was so terrible, why did nearly all of the OpenAI employees sign the letter that was backing Sam Altman and Greg Brockman. Right now, like I said, a lot of stuff just doesn't make sense at so all. So with the articles that they've linked, these articles do provide a deeper dive into some of these allegations and statements made by former OpenAI employees. And I must say they are quite riveting. On The Atlantic, this article states, from the outside, ChatGPT looked like one of the most successful product launches of all time. It grew faster than any consumer app in history, and it seemed to single-handedly redefine how millions of people understood the threat. But it sent OpenAI in polar opposite directions, widening and worsening the already present ideological rifts. ChatGPT supercharged the race to create products for profit as it simultaneously heaped unprecedented pressure on the company's infrastructure and on the employees focusing on assessing and mitigating the technology's risks. And this strained the already tense relationship between OpenAI's factions, which Sam Altman referred to in a 2019 staff email as tribes. In a conversation between The Atlantic and 10 current former employees at OpenAI, a picture emerged of a transformation at the company that created an unsustainable division among leadership. And it says here in brackets that we agreed not to name any of the employees and they all told us that they fear repercussions for speaking candidly to the press about OpenAI's inner workings. Together, their accounts illustrate how the pressure for the for-profit arm to commercialize grew by the day and clashed with the company's stated mission until everything came to a head with ChatGPT and the other product launches that rapidly follows. It says after ChatGPT, there was a clear path to revenue and profit, one source told us. You could no longer make a case for being an idealistic research lab. There were customers looking to be served here and now. In addition, on the MIT Technology Review website, there was another article that they linked that was called The Messy Secretive Reality Behind OpenAI's Bid to Save the World. It says, but three days at OpenAI's office and nearly three dozen interviews with past and current employees, collaborators, friends, and other experts in the field suggest a different picture. There is a misalignment between what the company publicly espouses and how it operates behind closed doors. Over time, it has allowed a fierce competitiveness and mounting pressure for ever more funding to erode its founding ideals of transparency, openness, and collaboration. Many who worked for the company insisted on anon many who worked for the company insisted on anonymity because they were not authorized to speak or feared retaliation. Their accounts suggest that OpenAI, for all its noble aspirations, is obsessed with maintaining secrecy, protecting its image and retaining the loyalty of its employees. So it's clear that right now, allegations are being thrown out, lawsuits are probably being drawn up, and the world is just getting really, really messy in the AI space, which leads to even more and more confusion. One thing is for sure, 
when the investigations are done and everything is all over, this is going to be one heck of a story. And I genuinely just hope the truth of whatever the truth is of this situation, whether they achieved AGI internally, whether someone did something bad behind closed doors, whatever the truth may be, I hope it does get out.